If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to the Courtside Financial Podcast, where we talk about business and technology. In today's episode, I'm going to be addressing the Neo phone, and we're going to talk about if I think that's a good idea for Neo or not, and we'll also address um, the things that are positive for it, because spoiler alert, I don't think it's the best idea, um, but you know, we'll get into it in this video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below and click the notification bell icon. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. So we've seen Neo making waves in the electric vehicle industry, but now they're eyeing a new venture, the smartphone market. There's recently been leaks of the Neo phone, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Like I said, I'm not really the biggest fan of the Neo phone, um, just because I know that it's going to be a capital intensive game for Neo to play. Um, and also, I know that the smartphone market is very competitive. How many of you want to switch away from these guys right here, the iPhone? Apple has captured a lot of market share, and so I think that this phone might be um, a good phone for Android users, um, people who aren't necessarily tied to an operating system. iPhone users are pretty much stuck because of all the um, integration features that iPhone has and the ecosystem that they have. And so Dio is trying to create their own ecosystem. But before I get ahead of my skis, I'm gonna go through all the points that I have uh, written out here for you guys. So a good reason for them to have this phone is brand extension and synergy. Neil's built a strong reputation in the electric vehicle space. Extending their brand to smartphones could create a powerful ecosystem that connects users further than just a network of EVs and charging. It could foster a sense of community enthusiasm. Imagine seamlessly managing your Neo vehicle on your smartphone. Compelling proposition that could enhance brand loyalty. Another thing here is diversification of revenue streams. Now, before I even get into this point, I honestly think that the smartphone market for Neo is such a niche opportunity for them because it's hyper competitive and they're already pouring a lot of resources into innovating around the vehicles. But, but like I said, diversification of revenue streams could potentially be a good thing. Neo's success is closely tied to electric vehicles, but with the smartphone venture, Neo could potentially tap into a completely new market for them. Our phone market is vast, and by offering a premium device, Neo could potentially reducing their dependencies on electric vehicles alone. Next is obviously technology integration. This is a pro for sure. The leaked specs of the Neo smartphone are impressive, featuring an eighth generation Snapdragon, substantial RAM, and storage. This showcases Neo's commitment to innovation. Think about the possibilities of integrating this into a Neo vehicle. Now, honestly, there is a big problem in the electric vehicle market that cars don't have their own operating systems. They're all using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And so the challenge really becomes that cars need to get smarter, but they haven't made the investments in the technology, so they just go the route of least resistance, which is going with these already popularized and well-proven operating systems. The possibilities of integrating this Neo phone with your Neo vehicle. It's a tantalizing prospect for Neo and tech enthusiasts. Next, there's flagship features. Neo's not really cutting corners with this smartphone. There's high-end cameras here, just like any other phone, and there's flagship specifications. And that caters to those who demand top-notch performance out of a um, smartphone. There's market niche and differentiation. There's not really any other automakers that I can think of off the top of my head that are doing this. This could also help them expand into international markets. And what I mean by that is that um, this could be a marketing move to boost brand recognition. There's the early mover advantage. Um, you guys know what that means. If you're a pioneer, if you succeed in doing so, you were the first to market, just kind of like how Tesla has the early mover advantage in electric vehicles. Obviously, there's a potential for ecosystem growth. And then here's a big thing here. There's advanced data collection and insights, which is 
super important. The smartphone venture could provide Neo with valuable data on users' behavior and preferences. This information could be a goldmine for refining products and refining the go-to-market. Of course, like with any business decision, there's potential challenges and considerations to keep in mind. Competition, market saturation, and effective marketing strategies are just a few factors that Neo must navigate. Um, I personally don't think that this phone is, is for everyone. I personally think that this phone is going to be a niche product, and I personally hope that they're not putting too much resources and efforts behind it. Of course, make it very sharp technology-wise, but don't try to make this a mass market thing. That's going to be very capital intensive in a very competitive market. But we have gone over the pros of them having a phone, and um, those are some good things I wanted to highlight. But I do think that it's going to be a big challenge for Neo, and we'll see how successful the phone is. I, I believe a Neo representative, maybe it was William Lee, even said that this phone is not for everyone. So, you know, while a lot of guys are getting very excited about the phone and um, getting super hyped over it, I just wanted to give my two cents on it and make sure that you guys understood my perspective. Um, whereas I think Neo has much more opportunity in electric vehicles and in the charging ecosystem that they're building out. I think their efforts need to be mostly focused on infrastructure and vehicle. And you know, there's already Neo Life. That's another um, venture that Neo has. So, you know, once you get to become like as big of a company as like an Amazon, I think that's when you can venture into these different buckets. But Neo is just kind of starting out and so they need to be really careful with their funding. But that wraps up this episode of the Courtside Financial Podcast. I want to know what you guys think. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Click the notification bell icon. Your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for a weekend recap where we, where we recap the biggest uh, stories of the week from the Courtside Financial Podcast. Thank you.